action. In three, two. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tiger TV. I'm Josie Melton. Hope everyone's morning is going well. I'm Brenna Poole. Waynesville Middle School's Interact Club is inviting everyone to register for the second annual race for the Ribbons event. This race will begin at 8 a.m. on Saturday, April 6th at Waynesville Middle School. You can either participate in the 5K race or one mile walk. All proceeds benefit students in the Waynesville School District. Registration forms can be picked up at the middle school office, Anytime Fitness, St. Robert Fitness, The Arc, and Hibbit Sports. This past Saturday, Indoor Drumline and Winter Color Guard competed at Kickapoo. Color Guard took home first place and Indoor Drumline walked away with second place in their class. Congratulations, Tigers. Keep up the great work. Baseball season is in full swing for the boys of WHS. Josie and I caught up with a few seniors. Let's check it out. I started playing baseball when I was four years of age. I've been playing for 14 years. I've been playing baseball since I was about six years old and I first started playing in t-ball. I've been playing baseball for 13 or 14 years. I started in kindergarten. Uh, I've been playing baseball for about my whole life and I started in like second grade probably. I play shortstop and pitcher. Um, I play second base. I play left field. I play third base. My favorite thing about playing baseball is just, I like hitting home runs. Hitting in general is just my favorite part of playing. My favorite thing about playing baseball is just having fun with my friends and just having fun basically. I like just being outside and playing baseball with all my friends. I like just being able to go out there with a bunch of friends and just have fun. I think we'll be alright this year. We, are, we have a lot of seniors on the team which means we'll have experience so I think we'll be fine. I uh, hopefully it gets better along the way. Right now we're kind of in a slump, so it'll get better. I think the season will go pretty good. We have a lot of talent, so we'll see how that takes us. I think it'll go all right. We haven't started off too well, but I think we have room to work. Seniors, have you filled out your senior survey yet? Please turn it into Mr. Tucker's room as soon as possible. We'll be right back after these messages. Clean kitchen surfaces, utensils, and hands with soapy water. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Game on! Got it. Now for the portal. <laughs> Easier than I thought. Hey, genius, you should have closed the portal. Oh! Learn that one from Bugs Bunny. Ha! He thinks he's so clever. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> direct. 
tit. Time for the escape. <laughs> Home free. Uh-uh-uh, I got you. Tiger TV's Dylan Lizenby went to the commercial printing class at WCC to see what it's all about. Let's see what a day in the life of a commercial printing student is like. This is commercial printing where students learn about various printing technology. I caught up with a few students to learn about what they do in class. In this class, we learn to work with others to accomplish a common goal. We learn how to operate different machines like the laser machine, the screen press, and the 3D printer and the dice lever meter. It's pretty fun if you're creative. We will take a design and um, we will put it on the software and we'll build it. How it works is it will melt the plastic and it sends it through and it recreates it and it melts it into a different design each time. The students in commercial printing work hard and get a lot done. They work together as a team and get all their goals accomplished. The advice that I would give to other students is to listen to Schaffner. He actually says things that you need to know. Be creative and don't worry about what other people think. Don't be shy because if you don't interact with other people then you won't have fun. Don't be afraid to learn new things. Um, there's a lot to learn in this class and it's really interesting and fun. For Tiger TV, I'm Dylan Lizenby. Seniors, two months left until graduation. You can start paying for your cap and gowns. The cost is $35 cash only. The deadline to pay is April 4th. See Mr. Young or Mr. Stockman before or after school or at lunch for more information. The WHS Junior Senior Prom will be held May 4th from 9 to midnight at the Nutterfield House on Post. Seniors, if you went to prom last year, all you have to do is sign up for a free ticket. Juniors, on the other hand, you have to pay $35 to attend. Out-of-school guests will be $40. Deadline for ticket sales is April 5th. Seniors, don't forget to turn in your graduation participation guidelines prior to signing up for your ticket. Any questions, see Mr. Young. Our very own Ty Leatherberry went exploring today and decided to nerd out on some movies with his fellow students. There's going to be some really cool ones coming out this year, so let's see what got people putting on their 3D glasses and grabbing some popcorn. Hey there, fans of Tiger TV. I'm Ty Leatherberry, this week's In the Field reporter, and I'm here because Brenna and Josie made the terrible decision of putting me into a position of power. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I went and found out what movies everyone's excited for for the upcoming 2013 year, and Hollywood is dishing out some very good stuff this year. So let's see what everyone's excited for. I'm here with Mr. Wood, our American history teacher, and I'm here to humbly ask, what movies are you excited for in the upcoming 2013? Probably the single film I'm most excited about is the new Star Trek film, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. Um, beyond that, probably the uh, new Superman film, uh, Man of Steel, which will be interesting to see if they can actually do a successful reboot of that franchise. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the uh, second Hobbit film, which is also coming out this summer, should be a good one to go see. Yeah, Peter Jackson, always a talent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, I'm really excited for Avengers 2. It's like an exciting movie. and It's like it's a good movie all around. I'm looking forward to seeing it. And the first one looked pretty good, too. Yes, yes, it did. Hello, I'm here with these two fine ladies, and I'm here to ask, what movies are you excited about in the upcoming 2013? Finally, the chance to meet both. <laughs> Sequels everywhere, my friends. Sequels everywhere. Hello, ladies and gents. I'm here with Cole Simmons, and I'm here to ask him, what movie are you most excited for that's coming out in 2013? Oh, man. It's really hard to pick because there's so many, but, um, had to be one. Probably Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. That is a fantastic movie, but I'm pretty sure that already came out. Really? 1980s. Okay, well, um, uh, I think, all right, well, Man of Steel, probably. The uh, Superman movie. Yeah, pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm just a big Superman. Hold on, I, I, it's the daily plane that I gotta take this. Right, of course. Well, there you have it, folks. We have one brilliant lineup of movies. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, having discovered quite a bit about this year's movie lineup, let's head back to Josie and the Brennanator.
Take it away, girls. Spring is somehow still just around the corner. Maybe it'll take a little longer for Missouri to get the memo, though. Let's check in with Dylan to see what's going on in the world of weather. Good morning, tires. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Now let's check out your forecast. Today we will see chilly conditions with a chance of rain and snow showers with a high of only 39 and a chilly low of 29. Now let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Saturday we have another chance of rain and snow showers with a high of 51 and a low of 38. Sunday we have yet another chance of rain and snow with a high of 44 and a low of 29. Monday we'll see partly sunny skies with a high of 49 and a low of 30. Tuesday we get a little warmer with a high of 52 and a low of 32. And finally Wednesday we cloud back up with a high of 55 and a low of 35. Well everyone, that's all for the weather this week. Back to the desk. Here at Tiger TV, we want to make sure all you Tigers out there have a great spring break. We took some time and put together some ideas to help you guys out. Hope you enjoy. Forget about school for your vacation time. That's what break is for. Don't lick bug zappers. I tried that when I was a kid. That's how this happened. I don't know. Take spring break as an opportunity to start hibernating. This spring break, I want you to go out, enjoy the weather, go skate, do something fun and active. Don't be a little lazy. I have no idea what I'm doing in here. I don't even do anything during spring break. Nerfer for nerder, nerf for nerder. Hit the pool in a speedo. That's how you do it. If you're going to a party, don't stay in the corner and do nothing. Go out and have fun. Live while you're young, because when you're older, you're going to wish you had. Not to stay in the house. My second tip is not to use hand gestures. No, Perfectly. they don't. <laughs> Watch tons of SpongeBob all day, every day. Ah. Don't be insecure. Walk around knowing that you look fabulous. Oh yeah, <laughs> and don't be that guy that be trying to have his shirt off all the time, looking like a jerk, having like all that flabs hanging out. Nobody wants to mm -hmm. see all that. Hi, Um. Don't let the bugs eat you alive, cause they're everywhere. My name? I'll just curl him into a ball. <laughs> take a ton of pictures so you can remember all the fun times with friends and family. Raise a legion of orcs and take command of the world as we know it. Or don't. It's what Ebs can to bear. I'm going to listen to me. Where am I? How did I get here? Who am I? Spend as much time as you can with the person or people that matter the most to you. Show significant others that they're significant. Stay safe. You're not going to have a very fun spring break in the emergency room. Go to the zoo. Let's just kill all the bugs. Can I find a friend Spring sports are well underway. Baseball, track, boys tennis, girls soccer, and boys golf are all off to a pretty good start. Let's check in with Peyton and Ariana for more information in the world of WHS sports. Hey Tigers, I'm Ariana Williams. And I'm Peyton Sapko. As you can see, we're taking over sports this week. Yes we are, and we hope you're ready for something new. Now for a sports update. Bad luck for the boys with the start of our tennis season. Waynesville lost 3-6 to Lebanon on Monday, March 18th. Coach Paula Davis said, even though we did lose, I thought the boys made a good showing. They played hard, and for some, this was their first match. Better luck next time, boys. In Waynesville baseball, we lost 3-15 to Rockbridge in a game Coach Turner said was much closer than it looks. But going into the seventh inning, Rockbridge scored 10 runs. And now for the Waynesville wins. The girls' soccer team won 8-0 against Fatima. Camilla Blash scored three goals, and Rihanna Moore scored two. Players Kaylee Karaki and Elizabeth Sisson both scored one goal each. You go, ladies. We caught up with Rhiannon Moore to find out more about Waynesville's outstanding win. I think we did great against Fatima. We won 8-0 and we worked really well together. For only our second game, it was great. My teammates motivate me to win a game and our goal is to get to state, so hopefully we can use each other's motivation to get there. You go, Rhiannon. Well, that's all for sports this week. I'm Peyton Sapko. And I'm Marianne Williams for Tiger TV Sports. Go, go Tigers! Tigers. Staying in the world of sports, Peyton Sapko also ventured to a baseball game to get a unique view of what to expect this coming season. Let's take a look. 
That's all we have for this Friday's episode. Hope everyone has an amazing spring break. Everyone be safe and have loads of fun next week. Tune in again in April for more episodes of Tiger TV.